Hi everyone, in this video I'm just going to show you the basics of Windows file management. So after you log into Windows and you start up your machine and you're ready to go, uh, you'll see a series of icons on the left hand side. If ever you want to open one of these, uh, you have to double click on it, which means you click twice very fast. So I'm going to click click and open the recycle bin. There's nothing in there, so that's not important. I can grab at the top here and I can change the size of it. I can grab at the bottom right and I can change the size of it here or I can grab in the middle at the top and I can move the window around like that. When I'm done with it, uh, what I can do is hit this red X and it'll close that out. So I don't really want to look at the recycle bin anymore. So you might have a folder that has your name on it here. Um, if you double click that, that is your default uh, documents folder on the machine that you're sitting at. Now what happens at BTC is when you log into a computer um, under your username, um, anything you put under here will actually be erased when you log out. And that's to make sure that every computer isn't filled up with uh, different people's documents and files and stuff like that. So we have a different way of doing things. So let's close this out and let's go to My Computer. And I'm going to double click that. So under my computer, we have a whole bunch of different stuff we're looking at here. Um, we can ignore this left-hand one right now. All, all these are just shortcuts. Um, in the middle window here, we have local disk, which is the machine you're sitting at right now. Um, and you can use these little triangles to open and close them. And I don't really care about the hard disk drives right now. I care about my network locations. And what these are, are these are storage spaces around campus where you can actually store information. Depending on what program you're in, um, and depending if you work on campus, anything like that, you might have a different number of folders and they might be called a whole bunch of different things. But what you should see is one that has your name on it. So let's double click the one that has your name on it. And you'll see that that is actually empty. So this is where you can save all of your documents and all of your files that you're working on on campus. So it's important to note that if you save something here um, and you close out of this computer, you log out, if you go to another computer and go to the same network space, then you will find those same files because they're stored somewhere else um, on campus here. So let's actually start making an organizational structure for our folders here, for our network folder. So first I'm going to start and right click with my mouse and I'm going to say new and I'm going to say folder and my name's Stu so I'm just gonna say Stu's folder. Another way I can do that is there's a new folder button right here so maybe I'll just do the same thing and because this is a copy I'll just call it a copy. So that's as with anything on a computer, there's about five different ways to do the exact same thing. So now I've got two of them. I don't want two of them. So I'm just going to move my cursor over the copy and I'll right click on my mouse and then I'll go down and I'll hit delete. Another thing I can do is, it's going to ask me actually here real quick, do I want to delete it? Yes, I do. I can just highlight it and it'll turn that blue color and I can just hit the delete key on my keyboard and it'll do the same thing. So again, 10 different ways to do the same thing. So I'm going to quickly remake my folder here. And so I want to go inside this folder, so I'm going to double click. And now you'll see at the top here, this is sort of, it's called a breadcrumb trail. It's all the way back to where I began and the most recent thing that I'm inside. So if ever you're lost and you want to find out where you are, you can just take a look up here and it'll tell you where you are. So I think in here we had to make a couple of different folders. So I'm going to make one called Pictures, New Folder. And I'm going to use this other one here because that seems quicker, yeah. I'll make that and I'll call that Documents. Okay. Inside my Pictures folder I needed to create another folder. So I double click on the Pictures folder. And now you can see I'm in Stools folder but inside Pictures. So I'll call this animals and then I'm gonna go inside the animals folder again and you can see it adds on and I'll make one called rabbits and I'm gonna make another one called foxes because those are my favorite animals okay so if everyone I want to go back there's a bunch of different ways I can do that again uh, I can click right here to Stu's folder and that'll take me back and then I can go in my pictures and there's my animals or I can hit this back button and it'll go back so inside my documents, 
I want to create a couple of folders. But let's say I get lost and I don't know where I am. So I've closed that out. How do I get back to that? There's a couple of different ways. I can go into my computer again and I can go to my name drive and things like that. What I can also do is click on this icon if you see that. You might not have this. Some computers are set up different. But if you click on that, that'll take you to kind of a file explorer window very similar. Let's take a look at this left hand menu really quick. So as I said, these are shortcuts. So here you have a bunch of favorites. These don't really matter. I'm just going to close those. And here are my um, network drives again. And there's the one with my name on it. So if I click that, there's my folder again. Good. OK, so I'm going to go into there, go into Documents. And I think I was supposed to create a folder called PDFs and another folder called Docs. OK. OK, so now what I need to do is I need to put some files in here. And what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go to Canvas and get some files. So I already have Canvas loaded. Um, to the page that I want and this is my practice downloads page so I'm going to look at this it says okay we're supposed to create uh, folders pictures animals drivers files. okay good I've already done that so if I scroll down I've got a whole bunch of different files that I need to download and so in order to download these I just right click on my mouse and then I can say save link as so what this does it's going to ask me where I want to save it and this one it looks like is a Word document, so there's a special place for that. So on my left-hand menu, I need to find, there's my folder, I'll go inside my folder, I have documents, and I have Word documents, so I'll put that in this folder. And so now I know where I'm going to save this file to. If I even want to, I can rename it. I'm going to put some spaces in there, maybe. And then I'll hit Save. Cool, and it says that it was downloaded successfully. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'll right click, save link as, and I have a spreadsheet. Hmm, what do I do with that? Is that a document? I think so. Let's just leave that as a document for now. And I will leave that as is because I know I'm already saving it to my documents. Save. Same thing with my PDF. Save link as. But this is a PDF, this is not a document. So I'm going to try and, oh, I can't hit back here. So what I'm going to do is just click into Documents, and there's my PDFs folder. So if I click in that, now I can save. This is the academic calendar for BTC. I'll save that in there. And then same thing with my tutoring request. Save link as. I'm going to save that in my PDFs. Cool. OK, for the next two, I'm going to do something a little different. This one, I'm going to save link as. But I'm going to put this, uh, let's say, I'm going to put that on my desktop. And this is a temporary way to store a file on the desktop. Because when you log out, then these files will be erased. So I'm just going to quickly save that to my desktop. And I've got another picture here that I don't know what it is. It's supposed to be a fox, but I don't know. So let's check. I'm going to save link as, and I'll save that to my, oh, it has a name Tarsier. Uh oh, what's that? Let's have a look. So I'm going to save that to my desktop. Okay, so I've downloaded all my files. I don't want to close this browser. I'm just going to minimize it because I'm going to use it later. And here are my pictures. So I've got my rabbit, and I can double click that, and there's that's a, my rabbit. And I can double click this, and it's a tarsier. Hmm, that's not a fox. Okay, so let's fix this. So this is a tarsier. We can't rename that to be a fox because tarsier is not a fox. So let's go in here and look at our folders. So I got my pictures and I got my animals. So I, there's a couple of ways I can do this. I can open my rabbits folder and I can drag this file into the folder and it'll copy it over. So now I have one copy and two copies. This one doesn't matter because it'll be erased. The most important thing is that I have it in this folder under my network drive. Another way to do that, and I'll do this again, is if I have my folder here, I can take my rabbit picture and I can drop it on the folder itself and it'll put it there. And because I already have a copy, it's asking me, do I want to replace it, and blah, 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 blah. I think I'm just going to copy and replace it, because I only want one picture of my rabbit. Now, I've got a problem here. Um, I've got my foxes folder. So 
I can create another folder that is called Tarsiers and I can delete my other foxes or my foxes folder because I don't have any fox pictures or I can rename this folder so what you can do there's a couple of ways to rename things so I'm going to click on it once and then click on it again and it'll come up with this kind of text field and I can change this to be bats or pandas and then all I do is click outside of that and it'll rename that folder so now that folder is called pandas but I actually want to do it a different way I can right click it and I can say rename and the same thing comes up so I'm gonna call this Tarsiers now so now my folder is called Tarsiers and I can go into that folder and then copy that in there okay so now we have a full file structure here set up we've downloaded files and we've put them directly into our folders or we've put them on the desktop and then we've moved them in there um, and then we have renamed files and we're looks like we're all set to go so that's how you do basic file management in Windows and that's how you use your U-Drive at BTC.